Well, Grant, what are uh, what are kind of the emotions going into senior day? And obviously, it's a huge game on the side. So, yeah. what, what, what's this day going to be like? Yeah, I was just kind of thinking about that last night. It's like, wow, this is uh, this is it. You know, I've watched a lot of senior days go by since I've been here, and now it's finally my turn to walk out on the field. You know, for the last time on the blue and. Um, it's pretty crazy. It's going to be emotional, but it's also a big game, so it's going to be fun. Seems like a lot of the senior days here have been kind of, for whatever reason, you know, not real important games or, or not big opponents coming in, and and it's sort of been you know a party, you have a lot of fun. How, how does it change it when it's you know it's a nine and three team coming in here and, and everything is on the line? Yeah, I think it just adds to the emotions. It's going to be be on the line. Uh, it's a huge game for us. Um, there's going to be a lot of you know distractions, so we got to stay focused and. It's going to be uh, pretty exciting Saturday night. There aren't many of you that are fifth-year guys, but the ones that are, you guys came here the peak of everything and, and have sort of gone through a whole lot of hiccups you probably didn't expect. What's this five yeah, years been like for you guys? We've kind of been through it all. It's yeah. been awesome to see, and, and the way we're finishing right now, we got to continue that, but it's been a lot of fun this year You know, going out with that group of guys. It's, it's a special group because you know it didn't start out that way. We started with a lot more guys, and now we're – you know, I think we have 11 guys and not too many 50 year guys. So it's it's pretty uh, it's a special group, and I'm glad to be a part of it. Harsh was saying one of the things that stands out to him about this group was that you guys kind of guided this program through the transition and, and kept everybody in line during that transition. How, how how big of a role did you guys play in that as seniors? Yeah, I think we just felt like that was our responsibility when the coaching change happened and the transition phase happened. It was kind of our responsibility to carry the team and to make sure it was smooth and and take that leadership role. We were forced into that almost um, by. You know, being leaders for those younger guys, and you know, making sure they were they were okay with everything going on, and then you know, this season just continuing that. And I think we've done a pretty good job to see that you know, 95% of the guys are still here that were here in last December, and and the things have gone as well as they have. You, you take some pride in what you guys were able to accomplish during those couple of months. Yeah, absolutely, and and that definitely doesn't happen everywhere. You get a coaching change like that, you see a lot of guys going different places, and it just tells you a lot about our program and the culture that we have here and the chemistry of the team and. And just how close we are as a group, it's it's pretty unique. There's the, obviously the one thing you guys can do that nobody has done around here is win that Mountain West title. How important is that to this group of seniors to be able to get that first one? Yeah, it's it's important. Um, it's definitely been our goal since we've been here, and we haven't had that opportunity yet. And we have have an opportunity to get there. So this is a big week for us. What's it like for you personally? There was a time where you weren't sure if you were ever going to be the starting quarterback here. You got the gig for about a year and a half, and you're a couple wins away from a conference title. Yeah, it's it's like I said, it's been kind of a whirlwind. Um, but it's it's been awesome, you know. There for a while, it's like, hey, I may, may never step on the field, um, and I, I accepted my role, um, being a part of this team, and and it's been awesome. And just being able to play in the games that I have, it's just been kind of the cherry on top for me. We've asked you a couple times about how you rebounded from the Air Force game, but I mean, it, it, your turnaround really was remarkable when you look at the stats. How, how were you able to block out the outside noise and stuff? And how proud, I guess, are you that you were able to bounce back the way you were? Yeah, I think it's. I kind of made it easy on myself by not having Twitter and Facebook and all that. <laughs> um, just not paying attention to it because um, I knew the type of player I could be and the type of game I needed to play to be successful, and that was obviously not it. And, and you know, we as a team, we needed a game like that. Um, we, I don't think we'd be the same team if we w wouldn't have had that Air Force game, just having that chip on our shoulder and, and going back to square one and, and focus on the fundamentals. And, and I think it, it definitely made us a better team. When you look at a couple of those early season games that you struggled in, I mean, look at now, it's night and day. I mean, what, how do you? Maybe that's what it is, but how do you put the two together? How you can have some games like that where you have four interceptions and some games where you barely have an incomplete pass? Yeah, it's. I think it's just experience. I mean, I haven't played a lot of football. Um, just been a year and a half of, of starting, and, and for me, I'm still learning and and finally starting to get a little bit more comfortable and, and just you know being in those games, having experience. I think that was big for me and just growing in that aspect, and, and I'm finally starting to feel more comfortable. But how much is also other guys? I mean, you've obviously improved a lot, but I would imagine you could probably say the same for anybody else that takes the field on the offense, too, during the week. Oh, yeah. I mean, all, all the guys on offense have, have improved. Our line up front is doing a great job. Jay's improved every game. He, he's done a great job all season. Our receivers are stepping up. It's definitely not just me. And with those guys helping me out, it makes my job a lot easier. Nobody talks about them because they don't have any stats. But, but how important is that? Offensive line, Ben, and what kind of improvement have you seen there? I mean, I got to think with what you guys have done the last six weeks, those guys must be playing well. Oh, they are. I mean, they've just gelled it together really, really well. Um, from game game one till now, it's it's unbelievable how much they've they've grown and how much they've improved. And and each week they're getting better. And and the the scary cool. thing is they're all coming back next year. So it's a good group to have, and it, it they're they're a really close group too. 
this week you get to deal with the uh, the brothers vigil uh, what uh, when you watch those guys on film what uh, what do you see from those two? Oh, they're just unbelievable football players um, they're just hard nosed you know good good players have a lot of respect for them what they do their whole defense is, is playing really well right now and and so for us just preparing this week on the, on film and then on the practice field it's going to be big what's the strength of their defense when you look at them what do they do best? Yeah, their front seven's really good. They're very aggressive. They play hard. Their secondary is athletic, and they make plays. It's uh, really probably one of the – it's definitely the best defense overall we've seen so far this year, so it's going to be a huge challenge for us. Better than Ole Miss? Oh, yeah, I think so. I think this is a complete defense, and it's, it's going to be fun. You might have already answered this, but just with everything you've, you've gone through and overcome, what, what are the emotions going to be like running out of the tunnel on Saturday? Obviously, you hope you have another home game after that, but just kind of what will be going through your mind, I guess, on – yeah, I'm going to try to stay focused for the game, but I'm also going to try to take it all in, you know, just, you know, just in case it is the last one. And there's a, it's a pretty special place to play. Um, and to be a senior on senior day here on the blue is going to be going to be awesome. Horse is taking a little different approach, I guess. He's taking you guys back into the locker room and then run back out on the field. What, what do you think of this is sort of restart there and go back in? Yeah, I don't know. I don't really know the plan yet. I'm sure whatever he's got planned up will be good. It seems like he's always you know, preparing well for us, so it'll probably work. How important is it for you, you know, maybe 10 years from now when guys are on the radio talking about Boise State football for Grant Hedrick to be in with the Ryan Dinwiddies and the Bart Hendricks and the Kellens and – do you want to be in that conversation? How important is that? Um, it's not really that important. Uh, I was talking with my parents last night and, and just like kind of win or lose this weekend. Um, with all the games we've played this year, we're not going to really remember all that. It's just going to be the great experience that we've had and the great run we've had here. Everything that I've been through um, from day one till now and just the overall experience that I've had here has been unbelievable. Um, and I'm, I think I'll remember that more, and that's more important to me with – you know, the teammates that I've played with and the coaches that I've been coached by, that's way more important to me than all that other stuff. Are you hoping to try to continue playing football or what's your, your after, you know, football plans here? Yeah, I mean, if, if I get the opportunity to, I definitely will. If I'm healthy enough and get the opportunity, I'll definitely pursue it. But it's not number one for me right now. I don't really have a plan. So I'm just trying to focus on, on this game this weekend and go from there. What would you do if you, when you're, whenever you're done playing football eventually, what's your next plan? Um, probably just train, um, and then you know, hopefully get into coaching with my dad would be awesome. Um, but we'll see. How's your dad kind of taking this? Your life? maybe your you know your, your career's coming to an end here, and he's been a you know part of your football life for so long, coaching and stuff. What's what's what are the emotions going to be like for him? Yeah, it is. It's crazy. Uh, I've been around the game since I was a little kid with him, and then you know he's been right by my side this whole time here. Um, so it's been fun. We're kind of going through this together, and I think we're both feeling the same emotions. You know, going into this week, senior day, and all that. It's going to be. Gonna be interesting. A lot of guys say they want to coach college. You want to coach high school? Is that what you were thinking? I think college or high school would be good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, either one. Mm -hmm. Speaking of coaching, when Matt went down, how has he helped out you guys on offense? You know, from the role of being on the field and now he's you know essentially yeah. coaching. Yeah, that just shows his character and and just his true leadership role he's played since he he's been here and now he actually gets to kind of coach those guys and be that mentor towards them and. And he's done a great job leading those guys. It's not easy for a guy like that, you know, to get hurt, not playing your senior year. You're kind of the star player, and all of a sudden, you know, you're on the sideline. And he's really embraced that role and has done a great job. And and really, a lot of our success with the wideouts, you know, goes credit to him. So it's been been a really really nice having him there. You guys basically played must-win games for like a, a month now. What, has that been tough at all mentally every week to have to win and then kind of start over again? And I guess now that you are literally in must win at this point, you know, two games to win the championship. What's kind of the, the mindset? I yeah, guess? I think we're kind of used to it just with, you know, the last month or so that we've had to, you know, each week we got to win. Um, so it's good to, for our focus. It's good for our preparation. And, and each week just hitting that reset button and, and trying to reinvent ourselves every week.